Hey, John here from Web Agents. Thanks for joining me on this video. And we're going to talk today about something you may see when you log into your WordPress site, which I just saw today. One of my WordPress sites when I logged in, it said PHP update required. So WordPress has detected that your site is running on an insecure version of PHP. Okay, so if you uh, see this, don't be scared. It, it is a little bit technical what you need to do here but not at all hard and i'm going to show you exactly how to do it it is important to do it because sometimes you can actually get to the point i'm pretty sure i've seen this where wordpress will just say you have to we're not going to let you do anything else and do your update um so and look what is php uh it's basically the programming code that wordpress is run on and so uh, what happens your web hosting account uh, will have a version of PHP that it's running the server itself the web hosting server is using and you you can actually choose which version multi you know the most up-to-date version older version whatever uh, and so there's new versions coming out and so we have to update our web hosting the PHP on our web hosting um, all right, so how do you do that? Well, you need to go into your C panel, your website, your web hosting control panel. Uh, I'm not going to go too in depth. Excuse me. There's, there'd be a video on our channel on how to do this, but I will show you really quickly a quick way to do it. So, for example, this website's John's Likes. So, if I go to John's likes.com forward slash c panel that's the quickest way just go to your, your url forward slash c panel c p a n e l and then you'll get taken to a screen like this where you can put your c panel username password now if you don't know what it is uh, or if you're not if it's not working for you whatever for every reason whatever reason log into your web hosting account so if you're with godaddy log into your godaddy account and find your domain and then go into control panel through that way and it'll and it'll work the same way okay so here's my control panel uh, for this site now once we're in control panel we need to go down to where it says PHP so here we go select PHP version all right it's pretty straightforward so let's click on that While we're waiting for that to load, it, always, it is always a good idea to make sure your website has has a recent backup before we're doing any of this kind of stuff. It's good practice. Okay, so here we go. So right now, it says here the current PHP version is 5.6. Sorry. Now, by clicking, if I click on the drop-down box here, and I scroll down, you can see there's quite a few other versions. There's 7.0, 7.1, 7.2, 7 7.3. Which is the best one to use? I'm really not sure. But um, I think uh, I'm going to go uh, just the next one up, 7.0. Okay. So I'm going to choose that. Actually, let me. I'm just having a look. I'm just having a look at these check boxes here. Let me get a 7.1. Oh, there's a lot fewer in 7.1, isn't there? A lot of fewer check boxes. And what is? What do those check boxes even mean? I'm not even, not even 100 sure. To tell you the truth. Uh, 7.2. I'm only. You know what? I'm only going to get the latest 7.3. Let me look at seven. Lots of checkboxes there in 7.3. Okay, 7.3 is the latest. We can always go back to 5.6, by the way. We can always go back. So uh, I'm going to set that as current. So yeah, it's not it's not like a one-way thing if you select you know 7.3 that's you know going back so it's always good to remember what you came from again we were at 5.6 and we'll change 7.3 all right so we've done that that's all done so now if i refresh my wordpress site let's see so great that warning is now gone and 
the website's still working. And that's always a good thing to do once you've changed your PHP version. Uh, just make sure that, yeah, and that's, there was nothing, pretty much nothing on this site. So it's, it's all working fine. So everything's working fine. We're on the latest version of PHP. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, my advice would to be to you would be when you're selecting the version, just go with whatever the latest version is. Uh, again, I was having a bit of a look at which services were pre-selected, and I noticed with the seven, like we're at five, when we were at five point six, we had a lot of check boxes, and then I noticed the seven point zero, which is the next one. Well, there's a lot there. No, no, seven point one. I think it was seven point. Anyway, one of these versions, yeah, that one didn't have many at all. So anyway, I, I usually don't mess with these. I don't tick them and untick them, whatever. But with seven, I'm happy with 7.3. It's the latest version. Website's running on it. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And then once once you've done that, once you select the latest version, um, you know, you've set it as the current, and it's got current PHP, v, uh, current PHP version is the one that you've selected. There's nothing else you need to do. You can close your cPanel. And you're done, really done. So that's all we've uh, so we've solved that issue. If you found it helpful, I encourage you to give me a thumbs up down below. Much appreciated. Subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of great videos coming up. Um, and check out what I've got on there. And if you and leave me a comment, especially if there's something that I haven't created a video on, something you need help with, leave a comment. I'm always checking those, and I'll make sure I make a video for you to help you. And always too. If you need help with your online business, whether it's your website, your online marketing, whatever, head on over to webagents.com.au and get in contact with us and uh, we'll, we'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching this video.